Hello and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we'll be trying to sketch the curve of the function f of x being equal to x cubed minus 3x squared plus 1. Um, so we said in our previous class when we dealt with, we've dealt with the question on minima, maxima, and curve sketching using the first and the second derivative test. For this question here, I'll try to use the second derivative test. So I'll save time. Right, so let's get this one done. How is it done? We said for us to get, uh, for us to sketch curve using second derivative, there are two things to focus on. The first would be to find your minima mag and maxima value. And then the next thing, or the second thing, would now be to find the roots of the equation. So first things first, let's find the minima and maxima value. But before then, let's recall the condition for maxima and minima under the second derivative test. So under second, under second derivative test, under second derivative test, we said the condition that was this for maxima, for maxima, the condition is that the squared y all over the x squared is negative. That's the condition. Number two, for minima, we said the condition is that the squared y all over the x squared is positive. So these were the conditions for second derivative. And we said for point of inflection, uh, the sign changes, right? For point of inflection, the sign changes. All right, let's get this done, please. Let's get our minima and maxima. Our first task here, obviously, is to find um, the value of f prime of x. But since we are used to dy by dx, let's first of all say, let f of x be equal to y, and that's equal to what I have here, x cubed minus 3x squared plus 1. So we said for turning point that let's get dy by dx. So dy over dx here is equal to this gives you 3x squared minus 6x. Yeah? We have this. So we said at turning point, at turning, at turning point, what's the condition there? Uh, we have that dy over dx is equal to zero. Uh, we explained this in our first class or in a previous example. So the idea is simple. simple. Let f of x be equal to y. Find the y over the x and equate this to 0. So that means this 3x squared minus 6x should be equal to 0. Let's solve this. What do you get? This is the quadratic equation. First things first, I can factorize this. I can factorize 3x out of this. If I bring out 3x out of this, what do you get there? x minus 2 is equal to 0. So I have this. All right. From here, it means that 3x is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0. So I have this. So 3x is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0. To get x here, divide here by 3. Divide here by 3. To get x here, move this over here. So x is equal to plus 2. Of course, from here, x is equal to 0. This will cancel this. 0 over 3 is 0. Or x is equal to what there? Plus 2. Our next task is to find the corresponding value of y at these two points. So let's see at x equal to 0. So at x equal to 0, what's y? y is equal to put x here as 0 becomes 0 cubed minus 3 into x, 0 squared, plus 1. And that will be equal to 0 cubed is 0, minus 0 squared is 0 times 3, that's 0, plus 1. That's equal to 1. That is, I have the point, x is 0, y is 1. Let's call this uh, point A. Point A is 0, 1. Let's try point B. Point B at x equal to, yeah, 2. 
plus 2. What's y? y is equal to, I have x cubed, that becomes 2 cubed. So I'm putting x now as 2. 2 cubed minus 3 into x squared. x is 2 squared plus 1. And that's equal to 2 cubed is what there? 8 minus 2 squared is 4, is 4 times 3, that's 12 plus 1. So it becomes 8 minus 12 plus 1. So 8 minus 12, that gives you minus 4, minus 4 plus 1, that's what there? Minus 3. So I have this as minus 3. All right, so that is, let's now have a B point. The B point is that when x is 2, y is minus 3. Of these two points, A and B, one of them is a minima and one of them is a maxima. How do we know that? Let's use the second derivative test. For second derivative test, we said the condition is this. From here, I will have to differentiate again to get the value of the squared y over the x squared. So I'll have that also. If the y over the x is this, let's get the squared y. The squared y over the x squared is equal to, differentiate this, 3x squared, it gives you 6x minus, differentiate 6x gives you what there? 6, so I have this. All right. All right. So, from this now, what would be simple? Let's use this point at A, at this A point, when x is 0 and 1, and y is 1, we'll have that d squared y over dx squared is equal to, the value of x here is 0. Of course, this is x value. This is y value. So x is 0. I'll put x as 0 here. That becomes 6 into 0 minus 6. That's equal to 6 times 0 is 0 minus 6. And that's equal to what there? Minus 6. So we said when d squared over dx squared is negative. What does it mean? It's a maxima. That means this point here is a maxima. All right. At B, what's the B value there? 2 and minus 3. 2 and minus 3. At this point, what's the value of d squared over dx squared? This will be equal to, that becomes 6. Of course, x here is 2, y, y is minus 3. So 6x, x here is 2, so 2 minus 6. And that's equal to 6 times 2 is 12 minus 6. And that's equal to what there? Plus 6. We said when the squared y by the x squared is positive, what does that mean there? A minima. So that means this point here is my minima. All right, so I've gotten my minima and my maxima. So I've gotten one aspect, which is finding minima and maxima. I need one more aspect so I can find, I can sketch my curve. And the second aspect, as we said, is to find what there, the roots of the equation. So I'll simply find the roots of this equation, and then we can sketch the curve. All right, so our next task, find the root of this equation here. So I'm going to find the root of this equation here um, to save time using a calculator, okay? Now, for this one here, um, I'm going to leave a link to the video on how to solve this one here using um, a Casio calculator in the description of this video. So check, uh, look at the description of this video. Look at the description of this video. you see a link to a video tutorial on how to solve this using a calculator. All right, so let me get this using a calculator. I have, um, so from here, my calculator tells me that x is equal to minus 0 0.53. Of course, to part three, I expect three roots. My second one tells me 2.88 and also x is equal to 
my third root is 0 0.65. All right. So these are the three roots of this equation. Now, what this means, what the roots, these are called the roots of the equation. Uh, this, these are the roots of this equation. What this simply means is that the curve will cut the x-axis at these three points. All right, let's see this. So observe that for this one here, I have a negative value. So mind the way you sketch your graph. Let's sketch this graph. Um, zero, okay. So somewhere here, let me place, okay, this is quite big. Somewhere here. Okay, hopefully this works. Okay, let me draw a better line. All right, so I have this. I'm drawing a straight line this way. Mm, okay, I'm having... Now, observe that I have a negative 3 in minus 3 for the y. Y's highest value is plus positive 1. The lowest value is negative 3. So that means I have more of negative values of y than positive. So I have to raise the datum upwards so I can accommodate my negative value. So I'll bring this somewhere here. I'm taking this one upwards because I have more or a higher value, a higher negative value of y than x. So let me raise this upward so that my negative values can be contained in my graph. So I have this. All right, so this is my positive x. Here is my negative x, of course. Here is my positive y. Here is my negative y. Let's fix values, please. The first value here, okay, let me get my coordinate. So this is 0, y2, okay, so I'm having here yes, 1, 2, perhaps 3. Okay, uh, let me have here as, here as minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Here as plus 1. Here as plus 2. Alright. For the negative side of this, let me have here some perhaps a negative 1. Alright, so I have negative 1 here. Alright. So let's get the point. Let's get maxima. Maxima occurs at x0, y1. x0 is that in here. y1 becomes this point. So here's my maxima. This is 0, 1. Maxima. Let's get minima. Minima, x is 2. y is minus 3. At x equal to 2, here, yeah, coming down, y is minus 3. This one going this. So they meet here. So this should be my minima. Right. Let's get the roots. Root says 0 0.65. All right. This is 0. This is 1. Of course, I'm doing a sketch. For a sketch, it means it must not be very accurate. Right. But let's get 0 0.65. If I have here and here, the midpoint would be 0 0.5. That's this. So 0 0.65, perhaps, somewhere around here. So I'm assuming here, it's an assumption, here it's 0 0.65. So I'm having here as my 0 0.65. 0 0.65 has to be, it has to be from the midpoint, move a bit further to the, to the right. You have 0 0.65. So that's my first point. Um, 2.88. 2.88 should be close to 3. This is 2. This is 3. 2.5 should be here. 2.88 perhaps, very close to 3. Let's say here. So I'm taking this point as 2.88. I'm having this. Finally, you now have minus 0 0.53. So if this is um, 0 minus 1. Let's say minus 0 0.53 somewhere around here. So I'm making this assumption that this point here is uh, taking this one off. This becomes minus 0 0.53. All right, so minus 0 0.53. 0 
2.88. Um, you can better get this using a graph sheet. All right, so from this now, you can see how the graph goes. So from here, it has to go to the maxima, come down, go to the minima, and then go this way. That's it. All right, so let's get this. So this one now becomes something like this. Let me try to sketch this first. So I'll get a good looking curve. So here, from here, you're coming down to this is maxima. Maxima comes down up to up to this this one here. This one slants down up to minima. Minima now goes up up to this. All right, so I have a curve like this. All right, so let's catch this. So I'm having something that looks like this. This one goes up to the maxima. So at maxima turning point, it turns and comes downwards, goes down, 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 up to here. So this is now the minima. At minima, it curves, start going upwards once more. It goes upwards, goes like this, goes like this. All right. So this is the maxima maxima this point here that was zero one this is my minima or my minimum point minimum was two minus three all right so this is how we can sketch this graph um, using the concept of minima maxima and the second derivative test see you in the next class